All right, my friends, so today we are starting off our day with an everything bagel. I am going to be breaking a 19 hour fast. Um, I do intermittent fasting, 18 6, but I typically break it at about 19 20 hours. So I listen to my body. Um, everything bagel, I'm going to have one bagel. Here is the carb count. I'm going to cut that up. I like to put a little bit of cream cheese. So I'm using the chive and onion. I typically like to use the jalapeno one. And then I'm gonna take a smaller avocado, slice it in half, and put half on each side of my bagel. I absolutely love it. And then a little bit of the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. And done. Everything but the bagel seasoning, I'm kind of running low and I just went to Trader Joe's, but I think I'm gonna head out there again this weekend because there's a few things I wanna get. Um, so before anybody says that my bagel is processed, I know. The way my life is set up right now with my injury, the less time on my feet, the better. So that being said, a lot of my food has become a little bit more convenient. So I guess dirty keto, I've been doing dirty keto um, just because I can't spend a lot of time on my feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this and then after this, I will probably make myself an iced coffee. I've really been into iced coffees lately because it's just, it's warmer out. I like ice. So you probably won't see me use my Keurig too much in the summertime. But um, let me go ahead and break my fast. I'm a little hungry. I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you when I make my So coffee. this is what I've been using for my iced coffee. The um, iced coffee from Starbucks, the Blonde Roast. This has one card per serving. Last year, I used to buy the cold brew. I can't find it this year, so I don't know what's going on with that. <clears throat> Pardon me. The Califia Farms Toasted Coconut, Coconut Almond Milk. Love, love this so much. These are the three sweeteners that I really like with my iced coffee. This is my favorite. I hardly have any, and when I went to my health food store last week, they were out. Um, they said they get their trucks every Wednesday, so I pre-ordered three of these because that's how much I love it in my iced coffee. Um, this, I use this in everything. And I just bought the Whole Earth, the original. So that's what I've been using in my iced coffee until I get this back in stock. But let's make my little iced coffee. I do a couple of squirts of the monk fruit, stevia monk fruit, and then my coconut milk. This one's almost empty, but I have like four or five on but I have four or five in my downstairs fridge. Ready, up next, on deck. I'm gonna go ahead, mix that up. Taste for flavor. So now it's perfect. I had to add in another like squirt and a half of the monk fruit. That's the thing that I find is that I feel like I need to use more of this. And this I hardly don't have to use any, so I don't know what's up with that. And then I just added a dash more of the coconut on the milk. Um, not today, but for a treat sometimes, I'll do a little bit of whipped cream and then drizzle a little bit of the Choc Zero chocolate syrup, but not today, um, just because I had that bread. So anyway, all right, I'll see you at So dinner. we're gonna start on dinner. Dinner today is going to be some delicious roasted chicken thighs, guys. So first of all, I get most of my meat from a local farm here. It's all grass-fed, grass-finished, organic chicken. I'll leave the info down uh, below. Um, I always get a lot of questions over on Instagram, so I might as well just share that here as well. If you're in the Chicagoland area, highly, highly recommend them. If I don't get my meats um, there, I do go to a local butcher who is amazing. I love him. Once in a while, you'll see me pick up a meat here or there at the store if I forgot to take something out. Or I do like to get the chicken wings from Costco, the organic ones. But anyway, so I get the boneless, skinless chicken thighs because I add in my own fat. So I add in some avocado oil in there. I'm going to use some of the Trader Joe's Umami, garlic powder, a little bit of 21 seasoning salute, onion, uh, powder, some salt, 
pepper, and then half of the pan, because half will go in one pan, the other half will go in the other pan. Um, half of the, uh, half of them are going to be extra, extra high, uh, hot and spicy because you guys know I love everything with heat. So I'm going to go ahead, add in my avocado, all my spices, split them up, throw them in a 400 degree oven. They take about 35, 40, 35 to 45 minutes. They're perfect. They're beautiful. And my side, I showed it over on Instagram. I've shared it over on TikTok. I'm going to go ahead and share it with you today. It is a cream spinach. Hit all your healthy or hits all your fat macros for the day. I love it. Tastes so good. Switches up things from Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, you know, asparagus. Um, so anyway, let's get to cooking these delicious I mentioned nuts. smoked paprika. I use smoked paprika on almost everything. Gives it such a beautiful flavor. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in as okay, well. Okay, so done, done, done. These are going in the oven. These are the ones that are extra spicy. I think I'm going to throw on just a little bit more cayenne. Um, throwing them in the oven okay. now. So a little change of plans. I kind of started dinner a little late, so I'm running out of time, and I want to sit down and eat with everybody. So I'm using this uh, rice cauliflower stir fry from Trader Joe's. Some, I'm, except I'm going to go ahead and make it into a like a cauliflower stir fry risotto. So good. I make the whole bag because everybody really enjoys it. So let's go ahead. So and make while that. I prepare dinner, I'm a little thirsty. Yes, these are dirty keto, um, but the carb count is good. If you don't drink it every day, that's good. Uh, if it works in your macros, you want to drink it every day. It's good. You know, guys, you guys know the rules around here. Do what works for you. Um, I don't drink these every day, but I have a taste for lemonade today, so I am going to drink this. I get a lot of questions over on TikTok and Instagram where I get them. Just to let you know, I'm in the Chicagoland area. I get mine at Jewel um, and Meyer. So, I don't know. There might be a, a store locator, but just to let you know that Minimade Light is now Minimade Zero Sugar. So, maybe your store hasn't switched over or gotten the new packaging. I don't know. I don't know the whole deal, but just, just FYI. So I just did some crushed ice, <clears throat> excuse me, some fresh lemon, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour in some right. lemon. So I have about two and a half tablespoons of butter in the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the entire bag. Oh no, you know what? I'm gonna add in some garlic. You can do fresh garlic, but uh, I'm running low on time, so I'm just doing a little bit of powder. But typically I would do fresh. Now I add in the entire bag. And yes, it has corn. I try not to eat it, but sometimes I do. Some pepper. We already have the garlic powder in there. And then I'm just gonna let this cook up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some heavy whipping cream and some cheese. I think I'm gonna use the unexpected cheddar from Trader Joe's. Usually I use an Asiago, um, but I think I'm gonna use unexpected cheddar because it has the Parmesan. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of some salt. Now I'm gonna add in my heavy whipping cream. I gotta go open another one. You know what, guys? I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I eyeball everything, especially with this like risotto um, style. I think that'll be enough. I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit, and then we're gonna thicken it up by um, adding in that cheese, and it's gonna be so delicious with those chicken thighs. Yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the unexpected cheddar, probably almost all of that. The chicken thighs are done. Look how delicious. These are the extra spices. That stir fry risotto, delicious. And done. Juicy roasted chicken thighs and then that cauliflower stir fry from Trader Joe's.